Um, wish I could have put together my best. Ten and one might have got me at a better pot, spot. You know, maybe on the team. You know, back in uh, June, July, whenever the hell Charles was. But to just finish strong is, you know, kind of my motto. So wanted to come out here, get a solid performance, see what I could do, and take that into next year. And I know you made some changes, not only with contract early in the year, but then even like coaching changed a little bit, right? How have you kind of dealt with those changes this year? Yeah, within the season, I mean, change is very uncomfortable, but within the season, should I change coaches, agents, contracts, everything? Um, and you kind of try to, you know, block that stuff out because at the end of the day, I got a job to do, you know? But um, I'm now happy to announce that I am with Dennis Mitchell. Um, you know, for months slash so Orlando is home for me, so I grew up, you know, to have my family around some stability, I think would do wonders for my career. Is that hard to make the change? Um, like I said, change is uncomfortable, but man, I mean, this is now, you know, technically my third, well, my third coach in my career. I was with Lance Brown before. I, I've got to train up on the Rainer Rider and now Dennis. And so I feel like it's an advantage for me to learn from such brilliant minds. You know, as far as coaching, I feel like if you got a qualified coach and a qualified athlete, you can get the job done. How cutthroat is it going to be to make this team next year? Oh man, I mean, you see what we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? We just saw two guys in America go 9-8. Um, you know, Trayvon will be back next year, you know, back healthy. I'm pretty sure Fred is coming back with a vengeance. And I don't plan on losing the race next year, so it's going to be very hard. Appreciate it, Mark. Thank you.